Welcome to Freeze a Vibe, where we bring you free voices in one vibration. How are you lot doing today? We good, we good. Always good, honey, always good. Better be. <laughs> so today we're going to do something a little different. And we're going to discuss like all the madness that's been going on 2022 so far. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so what's the tea, sis? What's the tea, sis? <laughs> <laughs> Well, obviously, you know that there's 365 days in a year, but there's only 24 hours in a day. And Molly May has been <laughs> saying <laughs> that we all have the same 24 hours. So <sighs> I think we should just touch on that, sprinkle that in first. Wait, I don't, I don't even it's, know where to start. It's the ignorance for me. <laughs> it's the privilege for me. <laughs> what? Uh, how can you be so ignorant to think that we all have the same 24 hours and what just hit me as well when she was like oh um you know beyonce has the same tw- eh? bitch am i beyonce <laughs> like, can i sing like one yeah beyonce can she's got talent yeah so yeah. that already puts her further second her dad he, her dad quit his job and done all of that to really put the force behind like our parents some parents ain't doing that so don't tell me don't compare me to Beyonce baby yeah (laughs) (laughs) it's true though it's true like there's only one Beyonce in the world and there's only one of so many other people but there's people that are still the same but you can't be saying we all have the same 24 hours no. there's people that are working here for 350 a day you know yeah, yeah people yeah. for the company that like, you're repping yeah, bruv yeah. So. Be- bearing in mind she's trying to say oh yeah we all have the t- same 24 hours but i need so i need to hire someone for 17k mm. preferably with a degree yeah but that's double standard yeah. yeah like you can't claim we all have the same 24 hours when some people don't even have the chance to use them 24 hours yeah. how they want to use it exactly you can't be speaking from privilege when you never understood struggle like oh, <laughs> hey, reality, bars for me. Bars. <laughs> reality has like, to kick yeah, in she grew up in a nice home and everything isn't her parents police or something yeah both of them oh, the police swear. officers yeah, yeah so both she's already got the no federale on her she, she's already had on this snitch no blood <laughs> like come on like you can't be that and then the fact that she said it before and then she had the chest mm. to say it Ch- again like mm. babe like think about what you're saying before you say it. yes we all have 24 hours babe but we don't all have the same 24 hours that's right there are mm. people in countries that can't even get fresh water what they got the same 24 hours as me that like, can go to the tap and run a little fresh water yeah, yeah, like true. you gotta look at people's situations like mm. there's kids that are out there begging because their parents are poor and stuff like that yeah like you grew up living good five meals a day b yeah. <laughs> plus, <laughs> snacks. plus snacks yeah like yeah. don't 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 do it don't do it's it. true and she also got uh, like a easy pathway into fame for, by going to love island like exactly. yeah. she has everything that she has now because of love island and it's like exactly. do, you, do you really and truly think that plt thought that yes molly may you have the credentials <laughs> to be a creative <laughs> director uh, exactly it's obviously just her name uh, exactly yeah. so <laughs> conclusion is no we don't have we don't all have the same 24 hours because a lot of us are working hard. A lot of us are striving towards goals. A lot of us are even living in poverty if we're Mm. looking at like um, developing countries and stuff like that. So what she's saying, she's completely taking it out of context and she's just only thinking about herself and her understanding and not broadening her mind to like think, okay, wait, I'm not the only one on the planet Mm. or like I'm not the only one that has lived this um, privileged lifestyle. Mm. Yeah, very, very ignorant. But yeah. hey, sending healing, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, <laughs> healing ain't enough for that one, but anyway. <laughs> healing and prayer, <laughs> but you know who we do. <laughs> But yeah, boy, times are really getting hard and dirty tough, Metalia. Mm-hmm. I go into the shop, price is just rising. 40 mm. pa- pounds don't even fill my tank anymore. I'm like, yo, inflation. <laughs> like it's ridiculous so we got inflation now nah. yeah then we got what taxes taxes rising what you want to take NI, more money from NI, NI. NI. yeah like increasing uh, by 1.25 percent um, council tax going up as well yeah but yeah. you know what's not going up wages mm-hmm. exactly the cost of living is just increasing 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 
but wages is not going. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. Like, where's my tax money going? My tax money is going on big fucking Ben, bruv. Yeah. 80 million, <laughs> bruv. <laughs> are you taking their piss <laughs> for a clock? <gasps> yeah, so they basically said that, like, nah. because they basically, their, def- <laughs> their explanation... <laughs> It's too much, it's too much. <laughs> Their explanation was that, oh, they found like asbestos, they found like toxic and? toxic chemicals and, and also like stuff that happened from World War Two, the Blitz. Okay. So like they're only refurbishing. So that's why so it's what, costing what, what, 80 why mil. Did, why did it need all that gold? Couldn't you do the refurbish- refurbishment without the gold? Like, why did you need to add all of that? I don't it's know. Just it went in the middle of a much. pandemic. Pandemic, yeah. yeah. We're still living through that. But they found money to do that, though, innit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, We're still recovering from all this mess. Brexit. Yeah. yeah. Now you want to rise inflation to a fucking next level. Is yeah. It has never it's been this much. high since the World War Two. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like, how, how bad does that tell you? And then you want us to become homeowners or become business owners, but we're here like struggling to survive on a daily basis. Yeah. Why am I going to the shop and I'm seeing one pack of sliced cheese for two fifty five? Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. What happened to the two for free? So what happened to two for three pound? Uh, what happened to that? Uh, it's too much. Nah, man. seriously. I went shopping the other day. I'm literally just getting the essential, the basic. Mm. It come up to eighty nine pound. No, you're lying. You're lying. Pound. Where did you go? Where are you shopping, babe? I, I even, Aldi, I even <laughs> use my club card yeah that's why you're yeah. going who the, who the fuck shops in tesco in an inflation like this bruv you're shopping Listen. in one place bruv, this girl's talking about she's shopping in tesco you need to be no, going to aldi you'll little, get little, like, my mom shops in aldi b she knows when you go to tesco the salmon's all two pound more yeah <laughs> it still tastes like yeah nice and trust, it's me. Like you're, trust me uh, unless you just go to the market you're robbing and yourself make sure. you could have paid 40 pound for all of that yeah, unless nah, you just nothing go to the market. Is 40 pounds like, no more, even as well. Aldi, babe. Bits here and there from the market. And that. Aldi, babe. You got to go to the cheaper stores, hun. Aldi, Lidl, places like that. What are you doing, bougie Tesco? You may as well go to Asda and all them bougie, bougie places. Asda's not going, bougie. So. Asda's decent price. It's around Tesco prices, though. Sainsbury's. Nah, if you're getting everything as the range, as the range. There's certain <laughs> things, yeah, in Sainsbury's that are actually, actually decently priced. Like what? Uh, Like their lamb, their meats. You can get. I go to the butchers price. for my meat, did they? Yeah, well, I mean, not everybody has access to a butcher. <laughs> 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 Gentrification. <laughs> Oh, but for real though times are getting so hard and dusty getting tough, tight, i totally getting understand tight. why yeah. that woman was busting her bum cheeks open and letting them farts off into that that cup for money but <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was reading up on it and she was selling yeah, Stephanie Matto. $1,000 yeah, a matters. jar. That's bread. But who, who is Mad. buying that? And is she selling that on the black market? Because like, no, there must be a website. Um, out there that are nasty. Like, you know, you yeah, with a lot of fetishes disgusting. and that. Yeah, look, it's like dirty panties yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking of getting into it because boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Sometimes you've got to do yeah? stuff exchange. Wait, wait, wait. you got to bust it over for the money. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 1000 She made t- t- over $200,000. Yeah. Dollars but you know she had to lot. eat a lot of like beans, eggs, like Protein all these shit. things. Mm. All these things that are not good for you with a lot of excess. Like, so that's why she that's ended why, up in yeah, the yeah, hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's and protein she was also, she was also like forcing the farts out. Like, oh, so much, she could have ended up Ooh. with a, a reversed, um, reversed asshole. So, <laughs> oh so. my imagine God. Asshole hanging out in that. Yeah. That's mad. I but I imagine the smell of those, but she jarred yeah. it up as well. So the man just opened it up. What did he do? He's smelling it, boy. <laughs> Getting oh, hard. Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> Getting hard for a fart. That's Ooh. mad. No, no. But... It shows like how how much people are willing to hustle and go like the extent of it hard. Well, one time, one time I was watching this um show like about um prostitutes. I can't remember where it is somewhere in the UK. Mm-hmm. And one woman said that um one man pays her just to um shit all over him. Like oh. she doesn't have to sleep with him. But what he does, he buys her a nice big curry, gets the belly going. <laughs> she has to stand over his head and just. Oh, stupid, just, oh, oh my god. Just, uh, 
Well, but that's slept. the same thing as that influencer that was like, oh, I went to Dubai. I slept to, I took guys' virginities. I oh, let yeah. guys piss on me, shit on me. Yeah. And now and now I'm a million richer. No, what about you guys? Like, there, was also, uh, there was also another story so. that was like, oh, how um, she was able to like sleep with the princes and stuff like that. Well, royalty yeah. out there. And also they would get her, they would get her to do weird things like having sex with animals. Yeah. Oh but yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Millionaire, like, money, it's too much. Yeah. Like, is is, is that much. worth? Is that worth your Did you look integrity? In the mirror after no, all no, that no, money. No, Hell no. Pum pum sprawlo. Everything. No, no, lips no, hanging. Like she no. use that money to get a designer vagina. No. <laughs> <laughs> too far gone. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, but these influencers are getting more and more like bold yeah very bold like they they will just say anything do anything not think of no repercussions yeah and yeah you know this cancelling culture is not really cancelled though like people get cancelled come back next week or as a yeah, new person trust. but yeah. um it like this ellie more. darby chick like another oh, influencer man. yeah with these resurfaced tweets boy <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about that it's the racism for me and don't be sitting there apologizing saying ah i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry you're only sorry because you got caught babe yeah. mm. like we know you and your man are inside the bed going mad talking about people she was cussing in um asians mm. she was cussing i can't remember who black people as black well. people like are you that you hate yourself that much that you have to tweet yeah I, shit like that? I agree with you i feel like um freedom of speech yeah to a certain extent is allowed and just having like that self autonomy where you can control yourself and control what you say and know like oh i'm being disrespectful to a certain group of people and it's like i feel like a lot of people have just been brought up whereby that is their norm so like they don't even think oh yeah like cussing a black person or cussing an asian person is a thing until they get caught out slipping do you get what i mean but i feel like that doesn't justify their behavior in any way shape or form and i just feel like yeah, she should be cancelled. And even when, when she comes back with, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, like, make the apology genuine. It would never like, be. Don't, yeah. don't be like, oh, yeah, like, I'm so sorry, but da 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 It's like, no, like, just apologise and then try your best to educate yourself in order to become a better person. But yeah, I doubt that that's going to even happen. That's your, that's in you. That's inside of you. Like you feel that way. Like that's her PR wrote that for her to make her look good. Like, yeah. She, that's yeah. why them apologies that's why don't it's, count. It's yeah. not genuine. Yeah. It's just She's like, only sorry because she got caught. Like mm. you're, that's disgusting for you to say some shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's foul. Like your ancestors already done enough, bro. <laughs> 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 and you're just doing more. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think these influencers will ever learn and they will never no. get cancelled. Like, they Not get cancelled. Nah, that's the thing. They'll this cancelling culture needs no, to be joking, more extreme, bro. There need to be some repercussions. People need to learn. Like, because she's just saying sorry. She's going on about her day. She's still making her, her money. She's still getting sponsorships. Like, nothing has really changed. The only thing that's happened is that they got dropped from their marketing agency or whatever it is yeah well that's one thing though yeah but it doesn't thing. stop them but it's not enough yeah yeah, yeah. Because, it's not enough yeah i'm just don't even yeah <laughs> basically white privilege rules <laughs> as in that situation basically trust me like stuff like that it's just it gives me the ick like i don't know how <laughs> you can just be such an icky person and oh. that reminds me boy hmm, my guy Chowing down that hot chocolate. <laughs> like it was his first day out of prison, B. <laughs> but imagine that was actually his first hot chocolate, like, ever in his life. Like, he don't know how to act. No, then, no, you know how to yeah. sip tea. You know no, how to sip tea. Because the marshmallows, in it? You got a bit gassed. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What would you feel? What, with the man? lips all drooling? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Would you film your man and put that out? Nah, no. I never that. What? <laughs> so I want to ask you girls, what gives you the ick? Oh, the ick. Oh. I don't even know. Your bum cracker showing. Oh. <laughs> that's the yeah, yeah, the ick. Yeah, that yeah. is. That's I much. can't stand that. Yeah. Like, if you, if your knuckles are bare dry, I can't stand that. That gives me the ick. Mm. <laughs> One thing for me is like, if your lips are chirping. <laughs> and you're just there trying to talk like. And you're like, wait, hold on a minute. Like, 
DD Comics. <laughs> but not to be rude or anything. Yeah, that's an ick for me. The that hot breath. girl said not to be rude. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, the ick is the not knowing how to eat properly. Like you don't know how to use your knife and your fork. You don't know how to Yeah, but like, not every dish eat. you eat with a knife and fork. Yes, right but I'm not saying that. you don't. Even if you're in like eating properly, you don't know how to eat properly. So basically there was this one story when I was younger. Like you're gripping the knife like a <laughs> knife yeah, yeah, not over that. <laughs> There was this one story when I was younger. There was this, um, I was out with friends. We went to Fort Park or whatever. And then this girl brought like her cousin and he was, hmm, hey, sexy. I was like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> and then, you know, like when you're like, ah, oh, this person's like sexy. He's just chilling around. Yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously we break from the rise now. We go to KFC. This guy started eating the chicken like one. <laughs> <laughs> the grease was dripping down. No, no, no. no and no, he was all hot. over his mouth. I was put off straight. Like, you're not, no, you're not it still. <laughs> yeah, you're not a serious <laughs> candidate. <laughs> Access denied. That's what I'm saying. As soon as I saw that, like, ooh, <laughs> like all of that beauty just went, hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you're not eating correctly, then boy, that gives me the it. Because if we're out at restaurants and stuff like that, you gotta know how to conduct yourself in. What? So basically, just eat it, like etiquette. Etiquette, yeah, yeah. 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 As well, like, why is the grease all up at your eyes and nothing? <laughs> And then your hands are all doing that and you're touching and like, ah. Maybe he was just excited. He hadn't eaten chicken in a long time. I know, but it was just, after seeing that, I was just like, nah, man, that ain't it still. But I mean, this ick stuff, like, some girls take it too far. Like, I think. Yeah, like certain things, it's not really an ick. Maybe that's just your preference. Like mm. you can't you can't blame man for having I don't know a longer toe than he's supposed to have or something like that or <laughs> his his hairline is like all the way down here like he was born with that that's something you can't really change or the barber fucked him up. <laughs> 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 they were trying to say he was born like that when you know so the barber's been doing everything. Nah, but you know with age the hairline starts receding yeah, so the stress, boy. you mm-hmm. can't you can't really control that unless you unless you go like turkey and get your new hairline done and yeah, that hair implant and that. yeah not yeah. everyone can afford that so mm-hmm. i don't know boy. the ick i don't know i feel like sometimes it goes too far but there is i do understand some parts of it too. yeah there are some things that are like you can't go without like saying that, okay, yeah, this is a bit weird. But if you're going to say that the ick is down on their genetics, then that's kind of rude. Mm. Even mm. like hygiene and stuff like that, that's icky. If oh, you're yeah. Clean. And you've got no hot need, breath. Like, cream your skin, babe. <laughs> yeah, mm. like, self care yeah. is so important. Just as a woman has their self care, a man, if a man ain't doing his self care and he's not cutting his toenails and the toenails are doing up Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's, yeah, that's not definitely the crooked that's, you that's, 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 that's crazy that's like that. yeah. oh another ick for me that's I just ick. remembered is dirty fingernails yeah. Oh, oh yeah I hate that and oh. then they want, want to finger you after oh. that's it <laughs> Yeast infection. No, go zoo. No way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dirty and long fingernails. When I see men with long fingernails, what about a dirty, oh. like a dry foot as well? That the that's, back foot. Yeah, I'm that's off putting. That, oh, I just want to get the scraper and go like this. <laughs> so tough, bro. Yeah. Nah, like, self care is so important yeah. in the man for me. Like, if you're not taking care of yourself, like that's icky one hundred. Yeah. yeah, don't don't be having a hot breath before um nine a.m. Like. <laughs> And then armpits as well. <gasps> Woof! With the armpits are chapping daily, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, but you see, some people sweat excessively, and some people don't really sweat. So yeah, but, but the thing is, you've been living with yourself for how many years, <laughs> and you're not gonna realize that. Oh, you're smelling a bit funky Maybe today. Man needs the but sometimes they don't know that. that. Like, we've experienced that with a few things. <laughs> Oh, school days and that it's a bit mad <laughs> yeah but some people, some people and some people really have genuine problems because i was watching something on youtube yeah, mm-hmm. and um this girl was saying that she really likes this guy but he just smells even when she puts him in the shower like he, he still, still smells <laughs> <laughs> so what can you do he needs something stronger bro <laughs> uh, you do? he needs to buff in debt all bro <laughs> Um, but yeah, like the ick is 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 too much. Like yeah, that's mad. Control though. yourself, people. Like yeah, take yeah. Don't care, go take care of yourself. Yeah, don't don't overdo it. But um, that brings me to as well. Um, 
Megan Fox and what's his name? MGK. Their whole relationship gives me the ick. <laughs> <laughs> Ritualism. For one, hella <sighs> rituals. Like, why are you drinking each other's blood? Yeah, that's just... And... <laughs> No-go zone. He was apparently wearing a vial around his neck of her blood. Really? What? And something else I heard the other day... Basically, the ring he got yeah, her, I heard that. it had thorns in it. So it has yeah. thorns in it, so she can't take it off or it will make her bleed. So she has to stay with the ring on. Yeah. Wait, what? The way he designed it, so when yeah. he takes it, Wait, when she takes what? it off, it, will it like dra- drags through her skin. Yeah, and it will cut so. over her hand. So I don't know how she's going to do that with acting roles. <laughs> <laughs> She has to be married in every role yeah. then. No, nah, that ring. Nah, that's, that's crazy, that's, you know. But you know, they're, they're into that thing. whole, um, like, what, goth. Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Illuminati, Satanism, <laughs> all of that. But they're into that whole, like, goth um, kind of vibes. Like, even the way that he dresses. Like, when man went from a rapper to a rock star, like, he's just, he switched up his whole look. But I feel like with that, what he's is become this goth stuff about though. I don't know. Like it's like dark energies, like everything black. I don't know. Kind of like like dying yeah, your they, soul, they like killing like, your soul. Blood. I didn't. We read a book in school. Blood something. There's something where they get blood blood, blood sisters. Yeah, or something, yeah, 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 and they rub their blood together, and it's just no, nasty. I remember and that. So that's basically yeah, what they did. They most probably cut each other's hands, rub yeah. it together, and then they probably have sex and then in drank blood. it. No, yeah, that's that's it. that's just most probably like. The only thing that comes to mind is that tying their souls together, or their selves together spiritually. Yeah, but that's with the blood. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah, to, yeah. to give like a, a better understanding, even as I'm processing this information now, like, and the fact that like, mm. if you can't remove, in order to remove the ring, not only are you going, going to go through pain, but it's also you're going to bleed. Like that's just taking it way too far. I, yeah, I can tell they're probably into like dominatrix stuff. Like I can tell like, What's BDSM. The, what's that, uh, yeah, like they're proper like whipping each other and like cutting the blood, like, like drinking my blood and then the like they're sadists. The bloods everywhere and yeah, and hot oh. candle wax and all that. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but that just shows you there's actually someone out there for everybody, boy. Cause That's true. Yeah. I guess. So. I mean, what's the um, population of the planet Earth? Seven billion or something? Seven like billion, that? yeah. I'm almost at eight. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't go to Mars. Yeah, it's where everyone's breeding up the earth. So. But yeah, there's these celebrities and these famous people sometimes take it too far. Like even like man like Prince, Prince Andrew, yeah, <laughs> that <laughs> guy needs salvation. That, that guy needs to pay for what he done to all these girls, bro. Yeah, but apparently in their eyes, him paying is like, oh yeah, we'll just remove your titles and that's mm. it. There's no apology. There's no prison. There's nothing. Yeah, because really. he actually has never admitted to it. And if he exactly. does the title, like it's because they no one. Mm. But in the in the firm, that's what they care about: titles, isn't it? Status. Mm. Yeah, but he's still yeah, living yeah. up in the ass houses, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's still up in the house in a comfortable bed, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course so. Like he he's still gonna have all um his all money, luxuries. Yeah, yeah. Everything. They're he's gonna find a way to get him out of that, isn't it? I don't of- know because even if they do, like underneath all the closed doors, we will never know what he actually gets or not. So you know the queen, she they're won't let her sons not, not have nothing. Nah, there's no they're way. They're gonna bail him out, man. They're gonna bail him out. Definitely. I One mean, he, own, he I can't like go to America. It. It's just now that he's got caught. That's all it is. But he can't go to America. If he goes to America, that's instantly he'll go to prison basically because they started that um, trial against him where that girl, Virginia, she's mm-hmm. the one that's in the picture. There's a picture of her and Prince Andrew. Mm-hmm. So she went to the court with that and she actually wants to take him down. That's why the US government are actually planning to do a whole trial against him, but mm. he can't step foot in America. Yeah, basically. Well, he gets luck off. Really? Yeah. So what are they gonna, how are they going to get him there? That That's the thing that UK will never extradite him to actually face the trial and the charges because he's a royal. So it's only if he goes there willingly, which he'll never do. Yeah, exactly. So they can't come and take him? No. Nah. No. Nah. Because he's a royal. Because uh, not only that, but also like Are you American serious? jurisdiction so he's get away with is it. different to the oh, UK. Oh, yeah, they need the, per- the permission from the country as well to extradite them to face the charges. You're taking the like how you've seen with all these um, cartels, like they always the country extradites them to America so then they can face the charges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And plus, America sometimes is a bit more strict because you know how they got death penalty and and all Mm. that stuff. So, 
Yes. Yeah, so then what? So we just got to decide, right, we're going to take away your titles for the look. But yeah. really, everything yeah. is just... Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. You might still live in Kushti, Kushti. Yeah. Hmm. But on to some winnings for the black community. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is it a win? It's a win, but it's just still sad. Yeah, it's so sad. So basically the... Uh, oh, how do you pronounce his name? Ahmed. Ahmed Aubrey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Yes. You practice that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so basically, like for those that um, are unaware, he was just jogging in uh, Georgia Brick Brickwood or so, something like mm-hmm. that, um, and like he was jogging in the area, and three men followed him for about five minutes. Um, one attacked him with a gun, and then shot him three times. And now they've been convicted. Um, yeah, they've been yeah. convicted. Yeah, two of them got life. And one of them got, I think, 30 years of a chance of... Um, no bail or something parole. like that. Yeah, no parole. Yeah, Why yeah. did he get the lesser? Because he was younger. So one of them was the what son. was under 18? I'm not sure if he was under okay. 18, but one of them was the son. And, and one, then of the fa- the, one was the, the son, father, the father, and, and then, a friend. Why yeah, are you farting up with someone that's trying to jog and get their fitness in and go about their day? Like, why are you farting up mm. and follow? Like, do you know how sick you have to be? Like, I really hope something happens to them. And the way they came as well was like in a pickup truck. So it's kind of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a throwback to how they used to enslave the black people because that's what they used to do, like go hunting for them. Yeah, yeah. but didn't pick up trucks and do that. Yeah, but d- didn't you know that? Like, like um in the south in georgia like they yeah. had plantations there where they yeah, were yeah, growing yeah. was where slaves was go- growing rice along the river i don't remember what the river is called but like that just is um proper nostalgic of like what used to happen whereby mm. the security or the so-called watchmen or the police they would hunt or yeah. they would make sure that their property or their chattel was mm. making sure that they were um enslaved and not running away so that's just like a reoccurring cycle where Mm -hmm. that happens and plus because it's in the south anyway you know how the south is so racist in america it's a very racist yeah yeah yeah. so like it's just so disheartening but it's just like is is it really a win i'm not bringing back at the end of the day exactly but it's like it's the start of something obviously george floyd that was the beginning of yeah, something. Yeah, but how many years are we going to say of the course. start of something? Yeah. Like, but then too much? I don't know, but that's the thing. Like, in America, still, people still getting killed on a daily basis. And getting obviously. hung. Yeah. What was that That black girl that went on a date with a white guy and then she ended up missing or dead? No, or no, something? no. She, she, she turned up killed in her bed, like, yeah. blood and that. Like, how and does they that even make sense? They've done no investigation. Nothing. I mean, there's been so thing. many stories. There was even that woman that went for a sleepover of all these white people. Yeah. And somehow um, she, she, fell, up, she yeah, fell over the balcony. The balcony yeah. Like, still no investigation was done of that properly. The girl that died in the freezer um, at a hotel... No, I yeah yeah i remember yeah there that. was there's been so there's, many stories, yeah there's been you know? so many and i feel like now not that it's a good thing but it's like we've i well personally speaking for me i've just become so desensitized to all of these things that it's like mm. every single not day good, you no. hear bad news yeah. about what is going on to our people and even though there may be like criminal convictions or um they may like using the law for justice it's like are we really getting justice when the same thing are reoccurring like they're they're still putting in legislations and policies to make sure that white people either remain in power or they can still um have like that um backing from the state Mm. so for example there there's a new legislation in america whereby it's allowing like white kids not to be judged by their forefathers mistakes and stuff like that that. and it's just like how is this really and truly gonna help anyone else but white children or Mm. white people because it's just reinforcing the same laws or the same ideals that they've been telling us that like oh they're not um they're not afraid they're not one afraid to say what they like Mm. and two they're gonna say what they like and get away with it and the fact that there's now legislation to put in place so that like children or young people can't even debate the idea that okay yeah this is what your ancestor may have done and it's like okay so what are we doing now to change these things it's like no just hide behind the legislation and the legislation is like um 
um, deeply rooted in racism anyway. So mm. when I ask these questions of like, are things really changing? It's just like, yeah. oh, we make a step forward and, and then we take yeah, 10 yeah, steps, steps back. Yeah. But I think this gives like a warning to the white people who think their privilege always wins. Like you could still go down in some type of way. Obviously, I get yeah. not 100%, yeah. but mm. there is now a chance that you might not come out. Like, yeah, but freely. what chance is that out of what? like yeah but that's the thing with the american one percent with the american that's yeah, yeah yeah that's the thing yeah yeah, yeah. the they american did. system is so like you said it's so deep rooted and there's so much influence for people yeah. from outside like there's all the poli- from the police yeah. there's influence from judges, the judges there's yeah. influence politicians from politicians yeah yeah from every single angle like um it's just it's, it's all about much. money and power basically yeah, there's so, so many crooks in there mate mm. paying people off to do this and that like yeah there's well, always yeah. a law to protect white people, but all now we're still waiting for a law to protect black people. That's and right. Was it what's his name, Mr. Biden or whatever his name, meant to come in and put these laws in place? <laughs> <laughs> how can how, how can, can the that alien, bro, How can you say? trust a politician that doesn't have your interest at heart? They were made there. To there are more yeah. policies or um, things put in place for the LGBT community than there has been for black people in the last ten years. Just for example, yes, yes. just for example. Yes. So it's like, okay, yeah, change, but <laughs> like half step by half step every day <laughs> kind of thing. And then even mm. when we say BLM, it's a problem. Well, what about everyone else's yeah, lives? How every, can you just say yeah, white lives, lives matter? It's like, like yeah, fucking yeah. Up. can we not have nothing, bruv? Yeah. Mm. Can we not have nothing without yeah. you lot getting so a certain way and so... Yeah, or they always say, oh, you're going to you're gonna away. bring the race card again. On, and then like, how could you not like... Yeah. <laughs> that's what you're showing us yeah. so like they're, they're so in denial that's what it is some people mm. are really in denial about what happened and what's still happening today because some people are like no there's not racism any racism anymore like yeah. you are just so blind and they them. yeah they even come with that um i can't oh, even have conversations with people like that they even come with the oh uh, i don't see color kind of bullshit as well like, that's even worse that you don't see my color <laughs> what you're color blind like yeah. dog you, yeah. you should see my color that, yeah. Yeah. don't tell me oh i don't see so, color i see everyone's the yeah. same well we're not the same because we're treated di- differently you should be able yeah. to see my color and understand my struggle i don't want mm. you to say you don't see or even if color. you don't understand my struggle try to educate yourself yeah. or yeah. speak but to you, people. they're not going to educate themselves they're saying they can't see color yeah they're already much, ign- right? that's already number Ignorant. one wrong much. step you yeah know? it's too much <laughs> like, it's too your best much. friend is is black and you don't see color mm-hmm. right you're not helping me there yeah. oh my wife, my wife is black like i'm not racist <laughs> <laughs> like how does it make any oh. sense but what do you okay so moving on the conversation in terms of like representation yeah mm-hmm. what are you lots thoughts on um the vogue issue for february 2022 mixed reviews like so, for example, um, <laughs> I think it's good. Have, we've never had that, have we? No, no, it's the not first, that many first women. cover. Yeah, in like two hundred. I, I don't. Know and I believe they it. done this for February. Yeah, Black History Month. Mm. And I know there was some complaints about it, like um, why were the women depicted so dark, mm. like in the image, and why why can't we show how we want our are like blackness to be shown yeah, yeah. like mm. why it's basically shown in their eyes rather than how we would want it shown yeah and yeah, they were just talking about the lighting was off and yeah, yeah you know yeah, why are we all well. in black and yeah just so like why is it not i mean off? you can see that the the way the lighting was used it was definitely exaggerated but i think it was to kind of highlight in some extent the shades of black women because there are women that are actually that dark like so not, why not just get that dark woman like why no but they no but they are they are that dark if you actually look at the models so they were actually, oh because people were saying that well, um why can't you just have them in their natural black beauty why have they been darkened for the photo yeah i heard that i don't think well. yeah. i don't think they've been darkened maybe not darkened in the way that the picture was taken mm. but maybe the editing and everything after but if you actually research those women most of them are actually that dark so no, I mean, fine. well, pers- I I do follow some of them, and mm-hmm. I've I've seen like that's their actual shade. Yeah, yeah. But I do understand where people are coming from, where it seems like it's very exaggerated to a certain extent, because some of them are not that dark. Yeah, I I think like for me personally speaking, one like you both were saying about the lighting and stuff, like we need to take control of our own narrative. And in the article, it says that like this is 
not word for word, but like this is kind of what's popping now. And it's like, oh, okay, so um, in um, Vogue or in the fashion industry, like black women are ha- are only popping now. So in my opinion, it's like, oh, so what is like the fashion industry kind of having a fetish over black women? Because like you only put them on the front cover to prove a point. And the point that you're trying to prove is that they're the in thing now. Do you get what I mean? But in actual fact, like, we've always been here. We've always been in the industry, whether it's models, whether it's photographers, whether it's designers and so on for a very, very long time. And not only that, but I also feel as though, like, even when you look at the women, yeah, okay, yeah, they're all black, but, like, they're all they're all wearing wigs or like some sort of um like their hair is permed or like straight or whatever I thought it was Afro. N- not the no not well no, it's kind of, okay maybe. you know like 1920s 30s mm. look where like the hair is kind of pushed up or like back combed and it's kind of got a puff and stuff like that. And yeah. like a lot of people on Twitter were saying that, okay, if you're going to um, depict black women, why don't you depict them in their natural form or like yeah. something that's less um, Im- imitating of like a white woman. And I was just like, oh, okay. That well, bounces off of that's a, um, interesting. a quote that I read that says, we don't want you to make us the black you want. We want us as us. Yeah. So it's like, but I mean, oh, yeah. Black women have have been in the fashion industry for for, time, ver- for, ti- for very yeah. long. Like obviously we had Iman, Naomi Campbell, yeah. like Tara Banks, yeah. like those were like the staples. But there there have never been this many dark skinned models. So that is something that's being celebrated. But it's more just now. for Black History Month, though. Why is it not this? Not yeah, a but Black History month? month in America, but yeah, it's still a British magazine. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I, it's in America. Yeah, and the Vogue. Why is it just a normal month? Yeah, but remember the Vogue editor, the British guy. He's black as well. Mm. So yeah, no, I, I don't know how much control how long he has had been black for. What? No, I mean how long? <laughs> <laughs> All his how life, long has the editor been black for Vogue? Oh, it's been in the past. Three years, I think. Okay, that's why. I did. Three or two years, something okay, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, even if you look at all his work that he's done recently, it's been very towards the black culture because yeah, obviously I, that's what he represents. Yeah, and I love the fact that yeah, we're depicting like more of our own stories, more of us. Like we're being shown in media, magazines, literature, and all of that stuff. But it's like let the story be more Natural. genuine mm-hmm. yeah and not say oh yeah this is the in thing now yeah, yeah, yeah because then it's like you're given that idea that oh um there it's just a trend now and other other um mm. um magazines may jump on the trend do you get what i mean but that's why i think like with terms of black people black culture we're always going to feel like to question everything that is of course done because <laughs> of course obviously this should have happened so many years ago and it should be more constant than it is it shouldn't just be like you're saying for black well, history of course we're gonna yeah. question. so we're always gonna question it regardless course, yeah. regardless of the intention regardless of who the, was the director who directed it that guy the vogue the british vogue guy the director um, yeah, I didn't know. That's why. That's why they used ten African models, and all the models were from different African countries mm. as well. So that that's why the representation was so wide. Just, if you're gonna do it, yeah, just do it properly. I think, do you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, represent us properly. Yeah, it's yeah. Important. I would do. Yeah. I would do more. What would you guys change then? Because I would do the more. lighting for one. Mm. yeah put um, some color in yeah it. why I was are we going to color funeral? yeah <laughs> mm. i was gonna say like add more color because like even when you go to caribbean countries african countries it's a vibrant color not mm, just mm, like mm. the landscapes that you see but like the clothing the materials um the lace all it's an a range of colors so like bring that more to the surface and don't make it seem like dull Mm. I mean, I think they should have done more representation rather than being a high fashion, more like natural, embrace the tribes, mm. all the uh, like traditional clothing, the hairstyles, yeah. like even with the braiding, the locks, all of that. Afro, yeah, yeah, they could have yeah, done yeah. different. Yeah, they could have yeah, done a lot yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It could have been like a lot deeper than. I feel like, what yeah, it was. I feel like it's important that we make the strides to see the reputation that we want to see. So I feel like there should just yeah. be the more. The representation, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Is that what I said? No, you said yeah. representation. No. Reputation. No, she said representation. Oh, is it? Oh, I didn't <laughs> hear you. Sorry, I didn't hear yeah, you. Um, <laughs> I ain't got the headphones on. Yeah, it's important. So, yeah. So what do you guys think about the Maya Angelou coin then? Oh, babes. 
Um, is that representation? Touch on it, D. Touch on it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So my babes, yeah. Still I rise, yeah. My <laughs> Angelique. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Poet, activist, um, love her. And um, just a bit of background, like she wrote so many books, so many poems, and she passed away in 2014. Now, I understand that you want to make a change in um, putting a black woman and an icon, icon, a icon yeah, yeah. yeah, on, what was it, a quarter? Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like that's a bit ironic because you're saying that change is represented in a yeah, change so she's on, the mm. on a coin. Yeah. And on only on one side of the coin where the other side of the coin apparently <laughs> yeah. is um, a guy that used to be a slave owner. His families was in that business. Right. Mm. Second of all, what is not that I'm, um, I don't like Maya. Yeah. That's like my girl. Do you get what I mean? That's auntie out here, but it's like, wh- what change is putting a black woman on a coin going to do? That's not mentioning any of like the intersectional intersectional differences amongst women at all. That's not mentioning like the disparity in pay. That's not mentioning like um, women that are not or black women that are not CEOs or executives of a company. That's not mentioning how black women feel so unsafe in society. So mm-hmm. when you when you now depict an icon on a coin, what change is that really going there to do? So mm-hmm. like, so for me, it's just it's just ironic. I don't see the point of it really. It's just really mm-hmm. ironic. And plus, you're giving her her flowers while she's in her grave. Mm, they they always do, do, that, yeah. do you get what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, oh, you're dead today, but it's I like I, I see, I see the point. I see the point, but you don't receive you, it. Yeah, I don't receive it. Yeah. Like you could have done a bit I more. Get it at all. I mean, on yeah. a quarter as well, not even on a hundred dollar bill. Exactly. <laughs> on a quarter, it, it should have been a bill. At least. Yeah. yeah, on a quarter. Like the amount of things a that quarter. she has done. Jeez. Who yeah. even twenty five pence? Who even looks at the quarters and the images? On no that? one. You're more likely to look at the images on the on the bills. On the dollars. Like, yeah. Who's really there? Like oh. But that that just goes to show you how how much they really and truly value black women. No, they don't. <laughs> but it's like it, it, it's a double edged sword because it's like okay, yeah, you value us enough to put us on a coin, but you don't value us enough to make substantial changes mm-hmm. or to recognize the dysfunction in society and what black women face on a day to day basis. But yet you feel, oh my gosh, if I put her on a coin, that's gonna but be that's, great for the black but community. Choose. But isn't that America for you? They're so pick and choose, like they're, they're yeah. all opposites mm. don't attract for yeah. them, bro. <laughs> yeah. They don't make yeah. no sense of everything that they do. They There's do, always yeah. like they think they're doing something so amazing, but they don't actually think it through yeah, like all yeah, the yeah. details yeah. and everything else all the people that are doing it exactly no, i was just about no to say that they that is actually in the culture to yeah. be like this is good or this ain't good like look how many things come out where they're doing madnesses on the clothing mm. what was it the ape mm. one and stuff like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's Hate like you're not like are you not get do you not have any black people around to say rah this yeah, is but good yeah most probably you they don't have any the people, black people on yeah, the team people need to be in higher yeah. places quote unquote Probably. minorities on, on the yeah. team or in the company so it's just difficult because you're trying to reflect the masses when your team but you, is neglecting the do you masses. think do you think this will inspire younger black girls by seeing another black woman in a coin yes, like this definitely okay so in that sense it is a positive yeah, that it is a double-edged sword because like mm. you know like that video um of those french girls with the dolls and mm-hmm, stuff like mm-hmm. that? it's like yeah this is this is another way in which um you you can change a child's perception yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I see Maya Angelou on a coin. On a coin. That can be who me is, one day. Yeah. Yeah. Who is she? What did she do? Um, mm. um, how did she inspire the masses? But it's like you have so much power to shift so much, and nah, you can go they further. won't give us yeah, that yeah, much. Yeah. But that's the thing. That's we like will never be equal, no matter how much we want to be equal. We will never be equal because they will always try and keep us ten steps behind, or just all the time because we can't. We can't, you know, level up, level up. We can't mm. overtake and be better. Like even when yeah. I was watching that, um, they're scared, boy. That slave master movie. I can't remember what one it was. It was the one oh, too many the that I told you guys Roots. to watch, and then they killed them all at the end. The Black Panther, or whatever that that one. What queen? No, 
I can't remember no. what it's called, but the um the the white guy in there was like, Oh, do you wanna give them that much power so they can come back and take over and basically yeah. like do what we've done to them? Yeah, like, that's they, what they're they, scared they of. don't that's what they're scared of. They're scared yeah. of us overtaking and really like they they can't be down here when they've yeah, been up yeah. there all the time. Because they know give you little drips and drains. Like, oh my yeah, God, yeah. Like, <laughs> what for you. Yeah. And that, like, you know, make you feel like, all oh, right, let's just make them keep them warm, make them feel like we're doing BLM. Let's make them feel like yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. they're doing something, we're doing yeah. something for them. But real just talk, to shut them up, yeah. Just yeah. to shut them up. But real talk, like well, that's been, their strategy. That's been mm. strategy from Back Quay Quay, babe. Yeah. Quay. Yeah. And I don't think that I feel like it's too deep. I don't know what can happen for that change to happen. I genuinely don't know what. It it would have to be a takeover. That's it. That's that's the only way. Like, um, was it to like tear down the system, the whole system, and then all black people in power? That's it. That's the only way. And it's not even just that as well. Black people, we don't really stick together. Yeah. If we got together and support each other and help each other up, then we would all be further. But it's hard when everyone's for themselves. Like once we're up there. Like we'll bring a few with us, but it's like we're not really trying to put everyone on. But um, onto black women and that, and relationships and that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get like Maya Jama. Maya Jama. <laughs> yeah, Maya Jama. Secured the bag. That's secured the man. She's she secured the American bag. <laughs> The Vala lifestyle. Six foot long schlong. (laughs) 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 Nah, but. I think she will. I think she will. There's no way. Why would you not live over there in America? LA and that. If your man is up, you're up. She can go into the American TV scene as well. Who is this guy? I don't know who he is though. Um, Ben Cinemas is a basketballer. Is he big though? Who does he play for? Um, I don't know who he plays for actually, but I know that he's a big baller. Big All yeah. I know is that shows you if a man wants to secure you, it will secure their bag straight away. It ain't gotta be fifteen mm. years. It will secure that seven months yeah, lockdown. For example, mm-hmm. like how long was she with Storm? Four years. Four, Four years <laughs> too long. <laughs> Four years. Four years. Four years. Seven months. Seven months. So not even a top. Not even a one spin around the sun. Mm. That like. Dick must be brazy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. Time does not define the strength of your relationship. Yeah. Like, that don't mean nothing. Yeah. So I think with her, her, I think with her, I think she found the man that she's been looking for. And obviously he must probably was like, I've got me a UK ting, bro. Yeah. She's a, she's yeah. a hustler. She makes her own money. Yeah, she got a fun personality. Day. So I don't know how that would work though, because they're going to be apart a, a lot because with basketball, you can be here, there, everywhere. Mm. And then she's here, there and everywhere because she's a presenter. And she's yeah. Doing but that's why I think like but she's moving on. All her, her overseas, her stuff overseas. That's what I think there, she's yeah. going to do because just, even now, yeah, go on. No, I was gonna say I feel like she's built her brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. To be recognized. Yeah, yeah, she needs to expand yeah. it now. Like so she's now done she, all the expanding yeah, she can so in the UK. Yeah. Like, yeah, well yeah, she's she's not well. even doing as many UK shows as she used to because she's so established now. Mm-hmm. So she might get the accent and everything, come back different. Mm, she could be like James Corden. He went over there to America, he has his own show, so that could happen really? to her, yeah. And the thing is there's there's that conversation about um UK whether it's artists, actors, actresses, um, people within the media, like they make it here, but when they go over to America, it's that next step. Yeah. Whereby, okay, you're Hollywood. America to blow. Yeah, yeah, if you go to America, you made it basically. That's how they and see Sometimes it. the UK don't want to recognise you when you do go to America. That's when you're they're recognising you. So sometimes people are like, oh, UK is bad vibes because they're not. Mm, I've heard that. It has to take me to go to America to actually, because mm. no one was paying attention to me in the UK. Yeah. But that really does bring me on to happy for Maya. Yeah. Good luck, girl. Do your thing, Get that willy, girl. <laughs> but what I would say is, on the other hand, we have Chloe and Tristan. <laughs> Next. The end of two spectrums, bro. Dipping and doing it, as Wendy would say. <laughs> Ciao. Did he have on her? One. I think one. Oh, is that it? Yeah. What do you mean? Is that it? I feel like so, it should be more like the way he's let's, been cheating. Let's throw it back. The way he's been so, cheating. The first time he got caught was they were together. Everything was good, and then she was pregnant, heavily pregnant, right near the end of pregnancy, and he got caught out with loads of different women going back to the hotel, sleeping with them. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah. begged his way back in, wow. forgave her. Few. Can I, can I just pause? Mm. Wasn't 
I saw a clip of her talking to her sister and she was like, no man could disrespect me. Yeah. If he ever cheated on me, there's no way I would ever take him back. Yeah, well, but that's before she met Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> After that, <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was before because no. that's when she had the dark oh. hair and she was chunky. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, before. Yeah, and that's when that's when Scott was cheating on um, Courtney, so that's why she was telling Courtney. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. And then, so yeah, after that, he got caught. Then, after that, a few months later, he was caught lipsing up um, Cla- Kylie's best friend, Jordan Woods. Yeah, Jordan. yeah. Kylie cut her off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I watched the I think he did that on purpose, though. I think he did that as like a scapegoat thing because he most probably was. No, that no, she was Kylie's best friend. She was still family. No, yeah, no, no, no. She said Jordan said that he sprung onto her and kissed her, and then she pushed him off. So I feel like yeah, but it's because Jordan didn't tell them. That's why. Yeah, it was only just a kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. But she believed. But I think I think I think Tristan did that as a scapegoat because he was probably was dealing with other girls at the meantime, and then he saw Jordan and was like, oh, if I do this with her, they will never notice everything else. That's what I think. Probably he's a he's a dirty dirty job. Exactly, and he was never doing just one girl. yeah right. but that's what i'm saying on the show he would be groveling because him and kim had a big madness she hated him but then they became cool he was like oh yeah it's like i don't know why chloe can't see i'm changed like i just want it like i want her back he'll be groveling like just move back in you and true move back in to find out man cheated again and got someone pregnant but wait what do you actually expect from a guy that's like 25 26 years old and you're like 34 35 don't you expect and and plus he's a basketballer like what do you expect him to do? There's girls on him on a constant but maybe basis. maybe he just needs to accept that no, he's not a monogamous, monogamous No, I just man. feel like she tried to make him a relationship guy when she knew that no, he was you young see out how and about. He is, though. No, man, that's just for the cameras, man. That's not who he <laughs> is. Like, you're trying to force a guy that's still out here living life, most probably living his dream, yeah. and he's out here expecting to... He to done stay. the same thing to his other baby mum, cheated on her with Chloe when she was pregnant. Yeah, but that's because that's probably... he does. Pause, 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 pause. He doesn't know how to... He, oh, yeah. Cheated on his first baby mom with Chloe. That's while why she was pregnant. That's why she got her karma. Well. And hence, and Chloe didn't think that the same. That's why. That's why she got her karma. Her. That don't make and sense. he was dating um her their friend um. Cumber. Oh yeah, Le- Lisa. What's her name? They stopped being friends with her. I they always forgot. cut everyone off for the man. But um, yeah, I think he just needs to accept that he's not a one woman man. He likes to sleep around. And maybe if she just says, let's just do an open relationship, it might work. But I don't know why she like, just give up I on mean, man. I just think she tried to force it and man was never into a relationship in the first place. And then she got pregnant and then they she were tried trying to, to make babies it. again. He, she was like, oh no. Da, da. And he, he was like, no, freeze the eggs and you can use my sperm. Like I want to have another kid. Yeah, was trying to prob- yeah. probably because he just wants her to shut up about the cheating. Yeah because if she's pregnant again and then she's busy with the pregnancy i just want to know what kind of dick like what does he have in them pants because it's making the gal them crazy because how is he getting so many girls because he's young he's a basketballer he's he's got the mouth as well and then chloe continues to now but doesn't he sound like an idiot though (laughs) yeah he's dumb his voice he sounds like a fucking but chloe wants that family unit that's probably why yeah she's trying to force it she basically wants what she had with lamar if lamar was clean yeah yeah that's she so will still sad. be with I lamar today together. i just wish lamar didn't get turned into a druggy yeah but it's very hard from the childhood that he had yeah but they would have been perfect his dad his, his dad, dad was, was a, a crackhead and, and his mom his, his mom was never taking care of him like he was just out here on the streets taking care of himself and he still made it to be a big basket yeah yeah but then obviously he fell off because well, of all that and his demons isn't it? Like, i know but it's yeah. hard i love but he made a comment on that though didn't he? yeah that he's yeah, an idiot yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but he made a comment last time and Tristan was like, yo, homie, don't be... <laughs> <laughs> like, do you get me? Tristan could never step up to Lamar. these apologies and that. Like, why do you keep saying it? And it's embarrassing. Your daughter's seeing this as well. Isn't it? The way man tried to deny the child and then um, DNA came out and then it is your... You are the father. You are the father. <laughs> 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 Listen, the Kardashians, a lot of them need to learn lessons and that's just one of the lessons that they had to learn. Like Chloe. Chloe, are you not embarrassed? She <laughs> is not, bro. She'll take it back tomorrow. She'll take it back tomorrow, yeah, man. Every time. She's, she's a wallad as well. Yeah, yeah well, I, exactly. well, I, well, all I can say is that I guess that Pastor Mike Todd has been teaching good about forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. When I think it's about... It's nasty, guy, bro. Nasty. 
nasty, nasty. How dare he he bring on to God, bruv? How can he make that connection? Nah, that guy needs to be slapped with the holy water. That's what. That is disgusting. I couldn't know. So for those that don't know, he basically did a sermon, got my man up on the stage and that. Hocked his spit hmm. twice or three times, spat in his palm. Was given the sermon, given the sermon, given the sermon. And then, like Jesus Christ, wiped the spit on the guy's face all over his eyes. Not spit, chlem. No, oh, yeah, the chlem, chlem like, bruv. Yeah, like, how can you justify that as a sermon to... How dare you dehumanize oh. someone... He's, is, what man in their right mind he's basic, is gonna allow that yeah he's basically trying to do the thing where Jesus cured that man of blindness um, with his spit yeah, yeah. I hear you but he, 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 but he, he ain't is Jesus. not Jesus he ain't I Jesus and he rubbed that there shit there are other ways for face. you to make your point isn't there it doesn't have to be spit and, and then his apology with isn't it tea. man was smiling. smiling that could never be my man taking spit on his face like that divorce <laughs> Like everything Does that like, give you the ick we're married, that, <laughs> that gives me the ick like times 1000 <laughs> times nah. 1000 you're letting man rub sp- I will I'm never saying. respect you again bruv you're sleeping mm. on the floor tonight not <laughs> I will never Dog look house. at you the same bruv I'll cheat on you the next day bruv <laughs> after that you won't be doing like that like, that is messed up and he stood there like that while the spit's just... I know. And he was like, oh, I knew that was the reaction I was going to get when the crowd was all going mad. Yeah, like, what else did the, you expect, bruv? the reaction as a point. Yeah, no, but how could... Own. Like, you, no one would ever allow anyone to spit on them, let alone willingly... That's beef in the streets, you know? When on your face on you. yeah, yeah. why was why why was it uh, why why that's but that's brother, the thing like, like brother, all right? these pastors yeah it's they brother, all no, no, no. They, no apparently cousin or brother something that's like it that it was brother oh, yeah that is so I, let, oh, I like, allowed my brother to put my spit on his yeah, but face you know, in, in the church like everyone's your brother everyone's your sister so. oh yeah oh, it could yeah, be yeah, that way yeah, as well true and that's even worse because it's not even family I take a from someone that's not family man could have HIV in his mouth and COVID we're in a pandemic. <laughs> so what are you promoting there? What is that promoting? Stupidness. Everyone gets sick with it. It just shows you that people are willing to f- follow anyone that says anything as long as they attach God to it. Like, these pastors yeah, yeah. are getting out of control, bro. Sometimes churches to me are a bit iffy. you got to really watch where you go and, exactly. and what you're doing. Because a lot of them in America as well, they're taking your money mm. and then they're driving BMW, Benz, Panani and all these people <laughs> things. Saying, give the offering as much as you could give the offering and they're taking the offering they're not investing that in the church them pastors are balling out do you see the houses yeah. they're living in yeah. being a pastor yeah. no you're yeah ten thousand dollar suits yeah, and that is. pastor toby oh the biggest <laughs> fucking <laughs> scammer in the world yeah, i'm telling you oh my oh, days nah young kids to Give their names. Nah, get that guy. You know, apparently one time when Croydon, I was um paying Caspers for everyone. Everyone. Anyone that walked to buy, there was like, yeah. oh, here's Caspers. Here's From Caspers, all them Caspers. loans, isn't it? And they, had, and they had all the like big cars, Lamborghini and all of that parked yeah, up just to um that's how they grab people's people. attention. Yeah, that's how they attract people. And that's <sighs> sad. Like, I'm sorry, people are trying to use their devilish ways and, and put it yeah, I'm tired. behind you I'm tired of this cover up. I'm tired of these false prophets, bruv. Yeah. They need to sit down. People need to wake up. Until I see coffee. some miracles, like, please don't be doing this. Bit what, anymore. like the four day yeah. working week? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that. <laughs> that is a miracle, That right? is a miracle. <laughs> I don't think it will come to fruition, though. You don't think? Do you, think, do you know that they're doing it all over the world in the US? Yeah. Canada? There's already a country that yeah. does it already and it works. Yeah, I think it's Luxembourg Good. or somewhere like that. Yeah, is that those that are those companies, those employees, yeah, that are take that are um, a part of that experiment, please don't fuck it up. They yeah, don't. Now they already said that it's improved productivity. Efficiency, like yeah. everyone is working harder. A better happier. work life balance. Because apparently it's like. 80% of your time, 100% pay and 100% productivity. Yeah, but I mean, that's what we deserve, man. Why do we deserve to work five days? Yeah, like, let's have a proper weekend. I'm just waiting for them to try the one day week. That's what I'm trying to go for. <laughs> uh, 
Ten percent of my time, a hundred percent of pay. Like I can, I'll work like eight till bloody eight. You know, the whole day I can do a week's work in there. Just one day a week, I'm telling you, it will bang. That's what I'm waiting for them to trial. Four days is ridiculous. I'll, I'll say, a let's good, give it a century, and then then we'll I'll say a good work life balance is three day working and then four days off. But then they wouldn't want to pay. They wouldn't want to yeah. pay that much. Yeah. If it was just three days. No, three days is more than enough, man. I can f- cram it all in. Just do longer working hours. Mm. But some people like to finish work early. You know, everyone likes long working days. Trust me. I'm out before the bell goes. <laughs> 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 no, no one's there. Like, you leave at four, but you're packing up at 3.50 to get your, <laughs> to get your 408 train. <laughs> So what are you saying? You're baiting yourself out? Mate, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Mate, if I don't uh, make that train, it's, it's problems. So uh, if I've got to leave early to catch that train, like I'll be picking up calls. Oh no, sorry, I've already left you. I'm on the train. Yeah, I'll pick that up tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's what needs to happen. The whole yeah. UK, man. Four day working week. Yeah, that's the best when thing. It's Thursday. It's like, and you wake up Friday and you're like, wait, hold on. Another day to mm. work. It's just too much. No, let, let us not Mondays be living. Friday should be long weekends and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, everyone works. Mm. Yeah, I think that's... But I don't know about the retail people because, boy, them stores got to stay open, but... Because <laughs> <laughs> we can't really tell them three day week and then... Why? It should be for everyone. So then how are we going to go shopping? Because, yeah, no, because you have rotation. you have a rotation, you have two different teams. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Duh, yeah. <laughs> but then, not even just that. They should just get robots to work on the other days. Oh, but that's taking away that's a lot of people's now, jobs. But that's coming in now. The then robots. there's going to be a bare high poverty. Bro, they're already bringing it in. Who's my guy? And he's got the talking robot. Like, uh, uh, yeah, no, and it was doing it's, backflips, it's, front flips. It's, it's gonna be creepy, our robot out creepy, here. It's creepy, nah. But no one, no one has a good life like Boris Johnson, in it. Like, man's having parties in lockdown. Trust Apparently, me. we just found out as well that he had a whole birthday party for himself during lockdown, bro. Whoa, I didn't know that. Yeah, I read that. Like, literally before I came here, I was like, what? <laughs> so man had bring your bottle party. Bring what? your own bottle party. Man had the quiz night and man had a lockdown party for someone's birthday or his birthday. So that's free parties, bruv. Free parties. Well, and they were telling us, dying. Yeah. They were telling us to stay at home. Don't leave your house yeah, yeah. unless necessary to yeah. go buy groceries. That's how you know the stuff. pandemic weren't that deep for you to be doing that. Like, and to think that they're, that idea of partying is wine and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that. the audacity for him to be saying, "Oh, I was not aware of the rules. I, I didn't know it wasn't allowed. You I didn't set know the rules. You fucking messy head, mop head, Rav." <laughs> And he has audacity to get on TV looking like he's just been dragged be across honest, the floor. To be honest, yeah, I feel for those that actually believed him because, like, a lot of people don't really follow what politicians say because, like, in my yard, it's our oh, politics. That's true. Like that. mm. But other people that were, like, yeah, staying in their homes, not traveling mm. and stuff like that. Or, for example, there was that story of a, um, a lady, she... She had like on her post, it was like, fuck you, Boris, when I had to go into um, to labor without my husband. And um, he w- he wasn't there to like um, witness the birth. I was going through pain, this, that, and the Yeah, that post was yeah. really sad. Was like, oh my gosh. But there was a lot of people that one couldn't spend Christmas with their families. Um, I, I remember seeing like families visiting different families, but like staying outside of the window to like greet the the new ba- the newborn. Oh yeah, creating like them that. children. Yeah, that. yeah. So like it's like so many things were done because people people truly trusted the government. Meanwhile, the government did not give a fuck about anyone, and basically, in my opinion, unfit to rule the UK because they were just setting all of these um, rules and one, they weren't following it themselves. And then when it actually comes up and they're getting exposed and then they're having these discussions in parliament or like they're having these discussions to um, um, news channels, Boris is just like, oh, well, I didn't know, even though like a couple months back or a year ago, man was the one that was saying, yeah, you need mm. to isolate, you need to stay at home, no Christmas, like lockdown again, da 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 So it's just like, why are you backpedaling on the shit that you was telling us to do? And it's just so heartbreaking because so many people went through a madness. Mm. Yeah. Nah, it's just, yeah. I just feel it for the people that couldn't visit their dying loved ones. Yeah, like, like people are actually dying and you can't even say goodbye. Alone, yeah. Like they have to be alone. Yeah. 
there not even one visitor like that is a disgrace and the thing is yeah the worst thing is that people will still go and vote for tories bruv have you not seen the things that have put us through 11 years everything's getting worse where's someone worse comes in than him though i mean how worse can it get i don't feel like the Unless it's Tories, like, I don't know. Let's vote for the Green Party, maybe. I don't know. To be honest, yeah, when you're voting, whether it is um, whatever party that you want to vote for, in my opinion, it's just like, pick your poison. Yeah, that's what it is. Of course, darling. Of course. But, But, boy, all I can say is the COVID is mad, even... That some guy is claiming that the dick shrinkage has been mad since he had COVID. <laughs> and it's like, crazy. the question really is, were the inches there before? <laughs> <laughs> Are you using that as an excuse? Like, were they really? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's possible, you know, because the way COVID has fucked up everyone's immune system, bodies, yeah. women's People reproductive system and yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's possible that he dick did shrink. Like, yeah, but that is so... That's a sad crazy. time, boy. Because there could be so many other things that people didn't even realise that happened to them since COVID as well. And there's people still living with long-term symptoms. Yeah, um, I've got some symptoms. Well, so. some, some, one of the symptoms that I heard was like hair loss or something. Like oh that. yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, so it is possible. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't put it past them, to be honest. And plus, say if you catch COVID and you've had like all these free vaccines as well, like... Mm. Well, booster, booster upon booster. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I mean anything is possible nowadays so but yeah girls amazing chat boy what a January what a January it's been I can't believe oh, like it's only January it's, <laughs> it's only January and all this has happened like I can't imagine what our end of year wrap up is going to be like because yeah, yeah, uh, 2022 boy. Yeah. well we hope you you all enjoyed the episode and tune in next week for a lot more fun and great topics Bye. Bye.